on the hunt for a deadly predator, trying to find secret hiding places where mosquitoes can breed and stop them spreading diseases such as dengue fever among unsuspecting victims. We aim to make your school a dengue free zone. Twice a year, Sri Lanka goes on high alert for dengue, but its ongoing economic crisis has strained limited resources. Already, the World Health Organization has issued warnings around case numbers, while school children who make up around a quarter of dengue cases have been reminded to be on the lookout. Usually during the dengue season, there is vector control in the form of, in, uh, you know, like fogging. And uh, that has been done in very limited capacity this year. Because government services have slowed down, in many cases shut down, the messages aren't being generated. We've got the potential for huge activity and not even know about it. It's a fear that came true in 2017, when the country suffered its worst ever dengue outbreak. 440 people died and more than 186,000 were suspected to have been infected. With no cure for the virus, sufferers are largely forced to self-manage their condition. Thousands of kilometres away, a group of Australian pest control experts are trying to help Sri Lanka avoid repeating history. The money from their fundraiser will go toward fogging machines, medicine for the sick and just helping people with everyday tasks. It must be soul-destroying for people who have the skills, who have the capa capacity, the capability to do something, and they can't because they can't put fuel in their cars. With the November season looming, officials are hopeful some lessons may have been learned from the world's recent pandemic encounter. When the same scenario happened for COVID, everybody got together uh, to, to develop drugs for COVID, to do something for COVID. Uh, but, you know, all dengue-affected countries are going through this every year. I really hope things will get back, uh, better here so that uh, we won't face the same difficulties as we faced during the last two months. And maybe find a longer-term solution too. Andrea Hoff, ABC News.